of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Gibbs. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Another chance to maybe end it right here. This is third and goal. Now gone. That's to the power on and incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. An incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. So they do get the short field goal here to get them the all-important overtime lead. But, Charles, you wonder if they'll wind up ruining the fact that they were able to get down into the red zone, yet not able to find the touchdown that would have won them the game. Brandon, you're absolutely right. In overtime, when you get the ball first, the hope is your opponents never see the football. But now they're going to get a drive to try and win it, or at least keep the game alive with a field goal. And I'm getting a dictionary out to look up ruin. <laughs> Onto the field now come the Bears. Well, that's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? Overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back keep everything in front. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice, but there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in a position where you know you're going to at least get three and keep this game going. If you get six, so much the better. Fields. His throw incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw his fields. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. And this is caught. He hits more. And some space here. Touchdown, Chicago! Anything prettier than a well-executed post -ground. No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? It's another win for them, and you wonder if they want a redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14 and one. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Detroit, it's a bad time of year to take a loss like this as they drop to 10 and five, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. Can I talk my Come on, Come on. That other side